Hey guys, welcome back. I am Rena Wells and I am an intuitive medicine woman and I run ayahuasca retreats. We're stay tuned for that because that's about to come all public. Come work with me and my shaman out in Mexico. We are starting our retreats in February. She's also a divine feminine. Um, and I am here super intuitive doing readings for twin flames. I am a genuine twin flame. Uh, ayahuasca brought my twin and I together. And so I'm bringing a lot, it really pushed me into mission. And so I am here to help the collective in their balance of their yin and yang energies. If you want to know more about me, all that info is down below. I am super excited to do this reading. This is for the eclipse, the partial eclipse that is happening and um there's going to be some channel teachings that are coming out later on today too so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell it really helps my channel to grow guys i am i promise i've been in missing in action but i am so aligned i can't tell you to my calling um even accepting doing tarot as part of my calling uh there are lots of things that spirit guides us that we kind of sit there and we're like really this is this is what i have to do but um, yeah, so I am back and I'm so glad to be back. So just also remember this is a general reading. I am running a special, so for 2021. And so if you would like to see what energies are coming in for your blueprint, I'm able to channel your Akashic, your blueprint, your past lives, all of that, everything. So if you are interested in working with me, take a look, all my info is down below. Let's get started. That's enough, that's enough talk. I, I don't like doing the talk. Um, we're going to do the gypsy spread. This spread was uh, shown to me at eight years old. I'll tell you guys a little bit about that story. You can fast forward this if you like, but I'm I got to find the divine masculine, divine feminine energies. We're going to look at divine masculine and the karmic, how they're connecting over these, uh, this eclipse. And then we're going to compare it. Spirit wants to, has shown me that we're going to compare the two spreads and we're going to see what's happening between karmic energy and uh, masculine there's divine masculine as I say that wonderful synchronicity and the karmic isn't this the greatest karmic card these are my this is my shaman deck I love it but this is like it's the queen of wands but it's like the best karmic card ever like it's yeah <laughs> it really uh, the images just really speak and then we're gonna compare it to um, divine feminine here and this interconnection spread, we read it in all ways. The center of, you'll see it when I flip it over, the center of the read is to uh, really pull the energies of what's happening. So Spirit is saying this is the transformative piece. This is all the transformation that this eclipse is bringing. Okay, so just be aware of that. And again, it is a general read, guys. Um, I can only pull from the collective. There's, you know, I mean... How many people are on the freaking planet, you know? So remember, please take these with a grain of salt. Uh, I do do my best to keep it as potent and as clear as possible. All right. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We are going to pull four cards for karmic energies with the divine masculine. These are overall uh messages that are coming forth in regards to uh where the energy is at currently what's happening in the uh for both of them the center of the read and then the energies that ripple out and we'll see what happens thank you spirit whew, whew. this is for the collective of divine masculine twin flames that are here on the planet and also for karmic situations can we please take a look at the energies that are happening here? Thank you. As we move through these, this eclipse. Thank you, Spirit. Can I have four cards, please? Right on the Divine Masculine. That means something. Oh, it always gets sticky, you guys. When I do karmic stuff, the energy gets thick. The cards actually feel different. So we're going to take these cards. It is a little bit of a setup, so you may want to fast forward it but if you are a tarot reader you know this might be of interest of you so uh we're going to just shuffle we're gonna cut the card so yeah so i can I'll, I'll talk to you guys while i'm doing this um yeah so our retreat uh the shaman that i'm working with it's really interesting when she met her twin and how i met my twin um they were uh ayahuasca spoke 
to my twin the same way that it spoke to her and um it's just amazing that no matter what these it's not really about union i can't tell you that i would have never been able to step into my calling without him and that activation and it's that's how twins work you know we really push each other into our truest highest self from the soul you know it really brings up a lot of deep healing okay so wow here is the masculine wow we've got wow this is the masculine energy here we pulled it with the queen of wands so what's happening here is they're on the outskirts of the energy of what is actually playing out what's playing out is the hermit sorry i guess i'm gonna have to take a look i believe it's the hermit yes <laughs> It is the hermit it is the hermit um of course it totally comes apart so the hermit here going within about what's been lost it's an apathy and this apathy i've been picking up a lot of this apathy with the divine masculines it's like it's just too much hard work i don't want to put the work in because a lot of these masculines have already become quite stable in the earth plane they've been uh, moving around creating life it's a very comfortable energy spirit it says and so going into this eclipse it's forcing masculine energy and the karmic energy to go deeper in to take a look at regrets to do that inner work to find the light within themselves and what's happening here this inner work of this complacency is creating a lot of mental trauma for the karmic situation okay um you can see there's a separation here masculine and the karmic they're 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 connected by their uh earth self right they're connected in the 3d but what's happening in the mental energy they're not meeting their minds are uh they're not being able to meet okay so let's take a look at divine feminine energy i'm going to clarify as well we're going to go deeper into this guys so let's take a look what about the interconnection spread here spirit the energies that are playing out for divine masculine and divine feminine thank you i love this deck i love that um yeah i just love the cow head i just i've had so many visions with ayahuasca with my twin and the cow head it's such a prominent thing for us so i love this another i love this deck and she's pregnant you know with the world like she brings in the high potent energy and just oh, so beautiful so beautiful okay let's see spirit what is going on with divine masculine and divine feminine thank you spirit wants me to take a look at the bottom here for the two not being able to give to the situation being stuck in the situation but looking at the truth because there's a lot of unhappiness here right there's still a juggling act going on this energy is actually what makes me pull away from my twin it's like if you the juggling and the wavering it's necessary for spiritual growth but that doesn't mean divine feminines that you need to sit in that and wait okay all right and i'm also going to say if you guys can't comment and keep my channel clear i will block you like i'm at a place where i have been attacked my entire life by people who just have an attitude with me and i don't even know why i'm just my authentic self and if you want to comment on my channel um just i'm just gonna block you i want to keep this clear i bring in high potent messages and i want it for people who are really on this journey okay um i'm, I'm done with backstabbers okay just saying let's take a look here with divine masculine divine feminine can i have four cards please thank you And so if I don't resonate with you, I don't resonate with you. I, I work with earth. Uh, I work with plant medicines. That's mostly my calling. Um, I do this because this is the most fun way to get my message out and to help you guys heal. Okay. Wow. We have some amazing cards here for divine feminine and divine masculine. Okay. So let's take a look. What is going on here in the energies between divine feminine and divine masculine? Um, this connection is nothing about 3d guys this connection is about how you can be so aligned to god that things manifest in your life okay uh this is and when i say to like 
walk away. Yeah, you got to walk away from 3D things in your life because we cannot live out of the 3D. We are here to experience the magic in the 3D to manifest and create the reality that we desire. We can't do that if we're attached to anything in the 3D. We must surrender our children, okay? We must surrender uh, our partners, our friends, our families. We have to let everything go so that God can work fully into you. And that is a hard process. I get that. But I'm going to tell you guys, like, I am there. So um, when I say walk away and do that, um, yeah, I've already had to go through all of that. It's a, it's a, it's one of the hardest pieces. A lot of people think you can't, don't have to lose everything to become enlightened. Um, and I think that's a lot of bull as well. You have to be in a completely, it's not losing things. It's about being in a completely surrendered state of non-attachment. Doesn't mean that you lose things. What you lose is up to spirit. So I just wanted to bring that through too because I'm really stepping up my game. I'm really stepping up my game. All right. I want to put the masculine upright. Wow. So yeah, definitely separation with masculine energy and feminine energy. So you see still attached to karmic here, right? Masculine complete separation, but feeling this passion. And this is, look at the major arcana here, you guys. Okay. We have strength and we have the chariot out of this little spread of six cards, right? We have the passion here. They're feeling the passion that's coming between them. Now, passion is not sex. It's not like, ooh, yeah, I love you. It's like, no, I'm feeling fire. I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling ignited by God. I'm feeling ignited by the universe to keep forging forward. The center energy between Divine Masculine, DM and DF is the giving energy that they want to give in regards to this passion, okay? Divine, this is what's connecting them. It's the fire of the heart, okay? That is Christ consciousness. That is Buddha consciousness. That is spirit, the fire, the purifying fire. And wanting to give to each other, moving forward and having the, the courage to do so. Like that is simply beautiful. Like, do you guys see the contrast in what's happening here in regards to here's the karmic and having to be pulled back, going within, right? Being an apathy. How am I moving forward? Masculine. How am I moving forward? What's going on here? I'm, I have to go within. So there's a lot of pulling back energy from karmic situations. This, this eclipse is really shifting and bringing things forward. Watch the reading I did yesterday too, you guys, because that has a lot, that is, that is, um, complementing, uh, the eclipse as well and what's happening in the energy. So just watch that as well too and see what resonates so that you can, uh, see how this resonates. Now this here, uh, spirit is saying, even though they're in separation, they are much more in connection than they have been. And that is because of this pulling away. Do you notice when you go inside of yourself, that is where you meet your twin, not outside guys. Again, not an external attachment. When you go within, you meet them on the inside. And I tell you, when I hear my twin laugh, it's not in my head. It's not a vibration in my head. It's not in my throat. It's not even in my heart. It sits so deep in my womb, in my gut, in my pelvic. So when I speak to God, I hear his laugh. It's like a deep belly. Have you ever heard a baby laugh? That is such a depth that comes from that baby laugh. That is where you meet your twin. So it's deep inside. And as masculine goes within through this apathy and pulling away from karmic, what's happening here is feeling the passion, is feeling this connection through spirit. Whew, let's take a look. Let's see what is going on with this eclipse here, spirit, in regards, what is the center energy for both karmic energies and the divine masculine? We have the four of cups and we have the hermit. Thank you. So let's take a look here. Yeah, it's not healing, you guys. Marriage, commitment, tradition. This is a traditional connection. If your connection with your twin is not going to be about let's build a house and, and have a wonderful family. That's part of it. But there's more. There's, it's such an expansive connection that it is about mission work. You are here to do mission work. And um, it's not just regular mission work of just, just being together. That's, that's new age crap. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to speak my mind because I'm, I'm so done with keeping quiet. Um, yeah, this is, you have a mission. You, God would not give you your twin incarnated on this planet. If you did not have a potent mission, 
You have a mission. This is not going to be traditional. These are lessons that are being learned by karmic energy, by the karmic and by the divine masculine. This is about a higher level of commitment. This is about God's love, right? What did God say when in when people get married? Uh, what God puts together, let no man put asunder, right? That is true sacred mar marriage. That is true alignment. It is not from the mind. It is from spirit. So spirit is really bringing this clearly. Things are being revealed. A lot of secrets are coming out because things are not being healed. So let's take a look at the center energy now and compare it to what's happening between divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay, so giving, they want to both give to this passionate new beginning. Okay, they want to experience this together. They're both in the exact same vibration, right? Do you notice how this vibration that's ruling this they're not running parallel they're attached somehow here he's attached spirit is showing me this aspect here see how it's connected to the bottom of the masculine root chakra sacral sex lust uh drinking i keep getting drinking you guys and i can't tell you i can't i don't know who's drinking but somebody's drinking a lot it could be either the karmic or that but i and i'm getting a lot of mom issues as well this has been coming up a lot in the energies and so here's karmic situation i feel this karmic has mother issues as well so it's something about an attraction of a lack of mother and a lack of um masculine trying thank you spirit is saying this mat and this is, might be a specific message for somebody out there so if it doesn't resonate don't take it but spirit is saying that the the connection with uh masculine and having to nurture and take care of mother had to take care of mother growing up and this karmic has a uh, dissociated relationship with mother either mother has crossed or mother is not in the picture and and this is where the codependency is happening okay so let's take a look here and so what's happening is there's a pulling back that's happening with both of them okay um to let go of this um traditional types of uh way of being learning spiritual lessons excuse me things are being revealed and why it's not healing let's take a look at what is going on with karmic energy in regards to the center energy very defensive standing her ground or his ground either way um to try and make this work wanting this contract being very upset okay the sun in reverse to me some tarot reader i know some people read it that it's happy anyways not for me i see that as the moon i see it as the opposite i see it being in a dark place i see it trying to you know but being blocked from illumination um really standing the ground here this karmic situation being defensive saying i we battle to get up to this i am not leaving from the top of this okay Let's take a look at masculine energy towards this center energy. What is the masculine energy and towards a pulling back? Things not healing with the karmic. Thank you. We're getting three cards all the time. Yeah, dreams, confusion, okay? But being able to see through the illusions of those dreams and forward movement. I'm like, I'm the hell out of there. I'm out of this. I see the illusion. I see what's happening. So that's really, that's really awesome. Let's take a look at center energy and take a sip of water. Let's see center energy here in comparison now. Oh, sorry. I always forget to open my water bottle. I'm such a dork. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look here at the center energy. Both divine masculine and divine feminine wanting to give. Whew. Guys, when I connect to this, this feels so much better than the over here. Woo so let's take a look here. What is going on with the center energy for divine masculine and divine feminine wanting to give into this passion spirit? What is this about? What is happening here? Whoa. Yeah. There hasn't been justice in this connection, guys. This came up flipped. Karmic injustice. Okay. Waking up. Look at this. The hermit is in reverse. So here, the hermit is underneath her. <laughs> I'm going to spirits like just move it out of the way right now. I'm like, okay. The hermit, remember I checked it on the bottom here, right? Pulled back, going within, pulling away from each other, Spirit was saying, right? Now we have the hermit here as well. But this is coming out of hermit mode and recognizing, gaining the enlightenment and knowing where the injustice is, where things have not been moving, why it's been stuck, 
okay? So let's take a look at the masculine energy towards the center energy, okay? So this is why the chariot is here. This is why gaining courage. And this is still in reversal here towards the masculine. So he's still trying to gain some courage. The feminine here is um, in... She's enlightened here with her with her mind. Notice how both of them are upright as well. The the masculine here is sideways, okay, with the karmic. But they are both upright. They are both enlightened. They are both uh, running parallel. Whatever one moves, the other one's going to move. I love the position when they are in parallel with each other. It's also awesome when they sit in union in the center. But because of the separation, it also means that they're running in parallel. So the growth is happening in tandem okay what is also going on here yeah yeah spirit okay yeah so spirit wants me to take this back here to the crown chakra and see how the moon is here she's gaining her strength through her intuition and grounding her strength gently as a lioness who's strong but yet gentle and grounding that into the earth right and here is masculine masculine's gaining his enlightenment he's not looking over to the feminine over here because he's on this side so he's dealing with his stuff trying to gain the courage okay so let's take a look at what is divine masculine in regards to this center energy please spirit wanting to end conflict yeah he's out he's done he's like i'm done with fighting i'm done with the mental trauma of the connection i can just see it it's like i'm so tired of fighting this connection i can't i can't deal with it yeah wanting to move on to peace and out of faking life you see that seven of swords He's faking it. He's faking it. It's dishonesty. Look at all the crows. Crows, crows, change, change. I mean, so much change. Look at all the crows and the colors, right? The blues and the even with the hermit in reverse. Really beautiful, guys. Uh, wanting to move on to peace, wanting to move on to something calmer with the feminine, done with the mental done with the mental and what about divine feminine here realizing the injustice that was caused here with the eclipse right so divine feminine what is going on with divine feminine in for the center please energy with the injustice things not moving and waking up she's in a beautiful position right now divine feminine is holding a lot of strength we've only got two here so what did we get the burdens and returning to self done with abandonment issues right really holding her strength and done with the burdens of of the injustice of this things not moving nothing happening it's like i'm done i'm so done let's clarify this burden and wanting to return to self she's done with um lack consciousness meant all of this um returning to herself okay yeah she's healing um she's okay with the separation is what i'm getting what is the separation yeah, she's not investing. She's not focusing on why they're in separation. What is Divine Feminine focusing on, Spirit? Because she's holding a lot of strength here. Yeah, she's not waiting around. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm not waiting around. Okay, so let's take a look here in regards to um, karmic energy towards the masculine, okay? What is going on with karmic? That was quick. Her, the wish is I want a commitment. I want family. Now, notice this is the pentacles. That's about money. I want the money, the family, the, you know, I want, and, it, and it's not bad, but it's wonderful. I believe the Ten of Cups is much more of an emotional fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles is like, that's nice. I got my coin. I've got the stability. I've got all of that. That's what I was wanting. So that's the Karmic's wish. What is the Divine Masculine's response to the Karmic's wish here and towards the Karmic energy? Whoa, that, I hardly even did that. Do you see that, guys? Not actioning okay getting honest look at this seven of swords in reverse right and look at this wanting to move on from the deception being deceptive right but moving on to peace with the divine feminine over here knowing that waking up to the deception that caused this connection <coughs> excuse me and here being very honest about this foundation union and um not actioning being honest about this foundation it's funny because the karmic wants a foundation what is this four of wands and being honest towards the karmic energy let's clarify that spirit this found no not working on this foundation with karmic energy not focusing on it not actioning it the karmic can wish all they want i feel that's yeah it's failed okay it's it's not a victory here it's too hard um let's see karmic response to that what is karmic's response to that <laughs> 
it's ended. Nothing's being given, okay? So I feel karmic's coming into an awareness with this eclipse. Things are stagnant. It's not moving. There's an ending. I can't, there's no giving to this situation. All right, let's clarify a little bit more here with Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. So, Masculine, knowing there's an injustice, wanting to um, come into a peaceful place, okay? Ending the conflict from this Seven of Swords. Let's clarify the Seven of Swords. Masculine wants to clear up the Seven of Swords, I feel, and wanting to move into peace. Show us the answer, Spirit. Yeah, with the Divine Feminine. Grounded Queen of Pentacles. Look how she is so abundant. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Well, that's not a Capricorn, so. Yeah, but this is, uh, you know, holding her coins. Like, yeah, I'm in friggin' bliss over here and wanting to be honest with the Divine Feminine. Let's clarify here with Masculine about moving forward. What is going on with Masculine Energy about moving forward? Still having some doubts here, okay? So there's no renewal here because I feel that there's still an ending of yeah a fear of change okay so he's having massive fear about this change and this is what happens with masculines they get a really fearful i've got the eight of wands on the bottom but i feel like they're going to move through it clarify this fear of change that happened fast yeah so that's why there's no action here what is a masculine afraid about spirit i feel like they're whoa yeah things have been halted fear of yeah, clarify that a little bit. Let's go a little deeper. Yeah, things had to halt with the divine, with the karmic energy with the Queen of Wands, okay? So, yeah, I'm still having doubt because things have to halt and there's a fear of change of the light that he was building up. But want, but the, this is clarifying the chariot, moving through very quickly all of this. And what is, and how is masculine moving through all of this? Let's clarify. I want to go a little bit deeper. I want to get something other than tarot on this. Yeah, coming out of apathy, which is what we saw with the karmic energy. So let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to pull these and ask spirit. Okay, so it looks like masculine is, with this eclipse, is still having some fear of change in life. I mean, this is a big change, you guys. I know in my situation, it's like <laughs> a massive change, but it's like, it's also exciting change, you know? It's not like a fear of like, I mean, I guess at the beginning, you're like a fear of what you're going to lose. But then as you keep moving on in this and in, in this journey, it's kind of coming to the point where it's like, I ain't got nothing to lose. We're so connected. It doesn't even matter anymore. Um, let's take a look here at, whoa, that came flying out. So let's take that masculine energy. Yeah, still dealing with grief and enlightenment. So this is what's happening. And this is like karmic could be from the karmic situation he's moving through that through his enlightenment coming out of the place of apathy still having so he's not actioning anything right now because things have i feel like completely halted it, it i feel like it was a bit of a shock um with this halting that's happened here okay so let's take a look at divine feminine in regards to this moving forward what is divine feminine with the chariot moving through um she's taken off you know, because divine feminines open up the new vibration. This is why I say we have to like move into new vibrations. Oh, look at this. Getting over her fears. Divine feminine could have another uh, relationship coming uh, for some of you. That's not for all of you. Um, I'm not going to tell you my situation, but <laughs> um, yeah, this is like getting over fears. She's like, get over the fear. I'm making a decision that I want love. I'm taking my cup elsewhere. Let's clarify that a little bit. What is this Knight of Cups? Divine Feminine wanting to move with this Knight of Cups. Yeah, seeing clearly that she can't hang around anymore for this for an offer of this love, okay? Getting over fears and making a decision. What is this decision? She's moving through her life very quickly here. Yeah, of, of not of changing her foundations, breaking things down. Yeah, the battle of what's happening with, with this connection here. Yeah, let's take a look at what's happening with Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, can you give me some cards here? Yeah, she's discovering herself and her abundance. Yeah, she's in isolation. She's pulled back. She's pulled back from Divine Masculine with this because she's really seeking herself and her abundance. And this is just feels too much of a battle most days. You know, she's like, I'm done. And so masculine is feeling that grief okay let's see what is going on with the strength divine feminine uh we did it strength let's see the masculine where he's at with the strength card being courageous i don't feel he's that courageous right now he's upset 
Yeah, so you depressed, sad about the Ten of Cups in reverse. What did I say about the Ten of Cups earlier? It came out with the Ten of Pentacles, right? With karmic energy here, right? That's like money, money, money. Not emotional fulfillment. Yeah, sad because of this contract with the karmic energy. So why is he courageous? He's not courageous enough, but what is going on here? Yeah, seeing very clearly that he's made a decision, masculine energy of the imbalance and heartbroken about this entire situation. So there's grief from both ends for masculine and uh, karmic energies, okay? So, all right. Let's move on. Let's pull some oracles. Um, I feel like we're going to do a balance check in and see what this eclipse is bringing in for balance. Thank you, Spirit. I'm just going to put these away now. Let's take a look at the time. I tend to go way over, but I also have, I'm going to be doing channel teachings of the dark codes today. They'll be out this evening. So make sure, because I have a couple of readings that I need to do today. Um, so I want to come on here quickly and do this for you guys and then I've got some readings and then I will do the channel teachings for by the time it uploads, you know, technology. So it should be out by tonight. So make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm going to upload this right away though. So you guys have this right away. But let's take a look at Spirit asked me to pull out some oracles that we're going to take a look at some balancing aspects. Okay, so these are the cards that we're using and the medicine wheel cards. And then we're going to clarify, thank you, Spirit, with these ones if we need to. Okay. I'm going to take a sip of water. I'm going to put these on the side here out of your view. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I've got a little table on the side here with all my cards. So I've got new cards coming too, guys. So stay tuned. I'm super excited. They, they're not coming until the end of December, but they're coming. But let me take a look at the time. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Let's see what energies masculine is working on in this eclipse, okay? What masculine energies is masculine, divine masculine working on going into this eclipse spirit? Gemini, thank you. I'm a Gemini rising. If you guys want to know about me, I am a Capricorn sun, a Leo moon, Gemini rising, and a Pisces heart, Venus. <laughs> I've got every single element in my main chart. It's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look here. What is going on with masculine energy? Whew, thank you. What energies are working with Divine Masculine? What healing uh, messages here are coming through for Divine Masculine moving into the Eclipse Spirit? What is going on with Divine Masculine moving into this Eclipse Spirit? Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. We have Shiva. Destruction. That is masculine energy. Too. I got a little... Um, I got this. I'm going to show you guys. This is my little Ganesh. This was given to me by a Hindu shaman in Bali um, when he saw my gifts with Ganesh. That's why I have this tattoo because Ganesh comes through very clearly for me. And um, yeah, he gave that to me. And after he gave that to me, it, it validated my visions. I was seeing this blue elephant. I didn't know a lot about it. And so, yeah, I got the tattoo. So anyways, just a little bit here. So that's why I saw Shiva. I was like, oh, Shiva, the serpent, the snake, which is divine feminine energy. The snake is feminine energy. Uh, it's transformation. It's shedding the skin. It's destroyer. Remember, masculine energy is destructive. A pure divine masculine energy. Uh, it. Oh, something's happened with my alarm. I hope that doesn't. I'm going to pause the video. Sorry, guys. My alarm just went off. See? destructive energy i'm gonna have to stop okay like <laughs> my alarm in the condo goes off like i thought someone walked in the door but my door's locked like this is the this is the shit that happens to me i my energy is insane i can't even with what happens like i'm like are they doing an alarm test no <laughs> it's just i'm talking about the destructive masculine energy is so potent it breaks shit down right it's almost like this masculine is just coming right in and saying i'm coming in and i'm breaking this down we have jizu hizu i'm sorry i don't pronounce that right 
support from spirit. Spirit is showing. Look at the cemetery, okay? <clears throat> Putting things to ends and death and, and really finding this power of support through creator force energy. Remember, creator force energy is create you to create. You have to have a blank slate. You can't build on faulty foundations. You can't build on karmic situations. You can't build on old patterns from your ancestry line or the abuse that you've experienced in your life. It has to be a clear, solid, you know, uh, foundation. And when that happens, you know, Shiva is going to come in here and destroy that. So divine masculines with this eclipse is getting a lot of support from spirit i love this ring that's happening here it's like a sunbow and it's like bringing in a lot of enlightenment into shiva into the divine masculine and balancing this with the divine feminine the snake you know and this is like we think snakes are evil i love snakes uh snake is my um chinese sign my aztec sign is ja I'm, a, I'm a jaguar but this is like a the snake is so, you know, shed skin, is able to see the truth of everything. It's one of the most ancient um, animals um, in, in many, many stories. The DNA, the Egyptians, everything. The snake is so potent. And so he's recognizing this balance. And here, the skill, gaining his skills. This is so beautiful. Realizing that he has been bred. <laughs> it's for saying bred. Okay, and nurtured and has been supported his entire life that all of those experiences that these divine masculines have gone through was to mold him into these skills. And look at this warrior. Look at that warrior. Let's get the divine feminine. Let's see what is complementing with the divine feminine as she is moving into this eclipse. Wow, this is beautiful. On the bottom, I felt like I had this contentment. Look at this with the womb. I felt like I had to look at that. Hathor, she's birthing. She's in her divine feminine energy. She's psychic. Look at this. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Can we get one? We're going to get one for underneath. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Let's take a look here. What is going on with divine feminine energy? Spirit going into this eclipse. Thank you. What's going on with divine feminine energy going into this eclipse? Thank you. Wow, this was a great read, guys. Really love the energies that are coming through. Let me also get three. I mean, if you want to bring more spirit, you'll bring more, but I feel like it's three. All right, let's take a look. I'm going to move this up a bit. Oh, Joan of Arc, Janine Dark. Ah, oh, the support. Look at this. Burika Unity. She is fighting her battles. She is fight, And this is where I was talking about. I have been healing betrayal in my family lineage. Like, I can't tell you. We just found out that there is Finnish blood in my lineage. We believe that we have, um, we did some research and, and it looks like we are actually Romani gypsies. <laughs> Which makes sense like, because my whole fam, mom, my mom's side is so psychic. But we have had to fight these battles of betrayal. Do you, if you look at the history of your ancestry line, I'm bringing this up. My family has been betrayed and betrayed. There's no human, other humans that like the gypsies, you know? And I use gypsies because I'm using it in a powerful way. I'm taking that, that word back, okay? Um, because it's powerful and we have gifts. And um, it's unity. It's like I am going to fight. I am not putting up with anything that does not align. Look at this blue that's on her eye, the right eye. Spirit is saying this is something about the eye of Horus. So I, I'm not seeing Horus here, but Spirit wants you to take a look at the different eye, what the right eye means and what the left eye means. Spirit is saying this is the right eye of Horus that she has on this, on her eye and she's battling. This reminds me of Kali Spirit. It's like, I am not putting up with any of this energy. I want my unity. I'm moving into my calling. And here, this is also complementing Divine Masculine because Divine Masculine is gaining the support from Spirit to end things. So there, there's complete endings happening here. Death, rebirth, transformation here of Divine Feminine, putting things to rest for Divine Masculine. Really beautiful complementary energies here, okay? We're going to pull a, a little bit more. I'm going to pull an Earth, an Earth Oracle as well. But here's Shiva. And here is, this is, um, I consider this Joan of Arc. This is, I don't know who Janine Dark is, Faith. 
But Joan of Arc has been with me since I was a little kid. She used to talk to me. I loved Joan of Arc as a kid. I can't tell you because she followed God. She listened to what spirit was telling her no matter what. And guys, it is so hard. It is so hard when you're sensitive and all of you that are on my channel, you guys are sensitive and you get these messages. But we, it's so hard because people think you're crazy. And this is beautiful because she's following her faith. No matter what people say. No matter what people come and attack the Divine Feminine, she's like, I am putting up with that. And look, they look very similar. Fighting. Fighting her way through for her connection to God. And look at this light coming. God's like, I am blessing you. I am bringing you because of your undying faith. This is helping the masculine rise up to destroy, create, and be in that beautiful, bright sunlight. In that, look at the sun is coming out here. The sun bow that's here. This beam of sun that's starting to shine in his world. It's starting to light things up. And that's because Divine Feminine is holding the faith. Now, when you hold faith, you don't have attachment to your outside world. You cannot know how things are going to play out. Not at all. Okay? So, this is about having faith in God and moving on no matter what is manifesting in the 3D world. And here we have skill with healing. And this is where her softness comes in because she sees all the skills of this divine. She's seen it from the start, you guys. You know, and I'll tell you that my I saw so much of his gifts. I I, I wish I could have told him everything that I that I saw. Um cuz this skill, look at this blue Remember, we had a lot of blue in the first part of the reading. Look at all this blue that's coming through. As Divine Feminine heals the betrayal, the past, all of those things, and moving into her calling, she is vulnerable. You know, she's she looks naked here, vulnerable to God, and she's moving. And it's like she's almost looking, I feel like she's looking at him in this picture for some reason, even though she's not. But I feel like she's looking and saying, look, I, I love you. There is no hard feelings here. And this is helping him to discover his skills. It's opening the doorway. Wow. Let's take a look at. Okay. We're going to pull. I'm just going to pull for one for each. This is the connecting energy. Thank you. Spirit is saying this is Mother Earth. Because that's our true mother. Is Mother Earth. The cosmos. She birthed the father into the cosmos. Right? It's like that whole what came first, the chicken or the egg. Well. <laughs> um, the masculine is birth through the feminine and that's a creative force that comes back to help her so let's see the earth energy that is supporting both masculine and feminine energies thank you what earth energies are supporting masculine and feminine energies can I have three cards thank you one two three center that's this is the core of what's happening right now unity oh my god oh my god this, unity 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 and you know why because she's able to turn her back and have faith and move forward in her life and bring in these higher codes right it's supporting it's bringing in the support masculine is feeling this unity consciousness energy both of them are feeling the union okay and that, it, again, we don't know how it's going to manifest, but this is so beautiful because this is, Mother Earth is saying, I got you. Look how this angel is holding the earth. I'm looking on you and I'm breathing life into both of you. And this is going to be transformative. Look at this, the destructor and the, and having faith, you know, in what's happening, no matter, no matter what. And this is the core energy masculine rising up into his into his dm energy into the destructor putting things to rest right because we have here like knowing that he has to stand in this strong power and this holding the faith of her intuition of what god tells her and this is where they're both pulling their energy masculine is pulling from his core the passion the fire remember in the first in the first uh, reading, we had the Ace of Wands is connecting both of them. This is the fire. And look how much fire energy, you guys. There's not orange, orange all the time in these cards, right? Do you see? Lots of fire. Even these hues, 
that are happening here okay lots of fire lots of passion that is that is creator force energy that is divine masculine energy it set off my alarm like somebody walked in my house <laughs> like so this is the core energy this is the rising up look how beautiful this card is this is the rising up of the flower and the and the beautiful oh god the birthing of everything coming from feminine holding faith and masculine stepping into his calling and this is the context okay knowing the details of the situation okay this is reclaiming the innocence that the context has been holding this transformation back the betrayal the past what's happened these two divine masculine divine feminine that i'm reading for is really surrendering and noticing that they had to go through this transformation and can't take things into context anymore because whatever happened in the details of their situation was the coding that had needed to bring in god force to bring to help the masculine rise up and to bring in the faith of the feminine so that the feminine knows her powers of the unknown and that the masculine knows how to move in the earth and not to be afraid of how things change because masculine energy energy is so strong and so and it moves in the 3d so fast right they can manifest like this and so that energy is so potent not being afraid of that energy and so the context of the connection the details that happen between this divine masculine and this divine feminine it's like we can be childlike again we needed this to bring back our innocence to know who we really are together and to know that spirit has brought this transformation for both of us that we needed that we needed that wow All right, guys my alarm again i'm sorry guys the alarm is on again I... <laughs> this is ridiculous hold on you know what happens whenever i channel to my masculine energy i get like a i get hot like whew, like it comes into my body like it's so strong i get like it's like a hot flash that's how that's how sensitive i am to energy and i'm like every time i channel like it brings it through this is what's happening to my alarms like and i know it works there's nothing wrong with the alarm they just did the test like two weeks ago so they were in my building like updating the system so i don't know everything was working so i just put my hand on it and just cleared the energy so all right Take a look. do you guys see how these energies uh the brighter that you are remember the brighter you are the darkness finds the the, the uh, listen to the channel teachings tonight because i feel like that is going to help you guys a lot because no matter the brighter that you are the darker things will find you it's true so people that say like oh the dark doesn't bother me no no no, no, no. The, the, there's nothing we can do about it but to shine so bright and to be okay with the dark when it shows up like this affecting my electronics and being like like whatever keep trying I'm going to purify and clear it now. Bye. Like, I ain't dealing with your crap either. <laughs> Spirit brought three, three cards here. Trust. Courage. Ay, 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 ay. And judgment. Decisions. Reconciliation. Karmic justice. Unity. That's what's coming in. Having the courage to move forward with faith and, and coming into this together in the core. Deep. Deep. Remember what I said at the beginning? We go deep deep and you feel your twin on the inside down in the pelvic region it's not in your mind it's not in your heart guys it's like bringing that energy deep they will meet you in the depths of yourself and having courage to be able to go that deep within yourself and here trust trust that this is happening for you guys i'm going to pull some medicine wheel cards guys i'm not going to clarify i feel these are the healing messages that are coming through these are the plants and the animals spirit is saying um to work with this for the next little bit okay because these energies are going to play out with this eclipse and so just uh remember be mindful of what is happening oh that came out and that showed up so i i love it <laughs> i love that i know you have to shuffle and it's like three cards it's like i love synchronicities like this thank you spirit let's take a look so 
for if you're dealing with the the unity energy okay the judgment making um proper just high highest good choices for your growth remember not choices for other people not choices for pleasing people not choices because you know you have to put yourself first on this path people will look at it as selfish and narcissistic you are not you are a highly evolved being you are not this is the wolf sometimes this is masculine energy northeast and water number six this is six is also grounding love the wolf also is there's a lone wolf but then wolves are also naturally pack animals this is about finding your tribe moving towards your tribe this is the unity consciousness this is justice coming forward this is clearing of all those darker things this is the wolf knowing that i can be an individual but yet knowing that i can be in my tribe at the same time knowing that i can be strong in myself and yet bring my gifts to my tribe okay so that's what's happening here work with wolf energy this week guys we also have sweet grass so burn some sweet grass if you can which is amazing it's feminine energy sun and air elements here number 10 for healing which is the end of cycles okay keeping it center keeping your faith keeping masculine energy and destructive energy keep moving forward create 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 let that passion move you be courageous don't be afraid and if that feels like you have to move away from the old vibration and everything like remember guys when we move away from masculine or feminine energy it's not like we're leaving them behind it's like i can't deal i love myself so much that energy is too toxic for me i have to push myself forward i have to open my heart to other love i have to be okay with the going forward and healing those things within me to be able to let god come in and align things naturally as if it's meant for you it's meant for you you don't have to attach to it. you really don't if it's meant for you like i my my twin is in the u.s i'm in canada and the synchronicities were off the hook with how that all came together okay i wasn't even going to go to iowa i was going to go to marrakesh and go to the desert it just happened to pop up and apparently I was like the third one to book after he had apparently put the intention out that they needed at least three for a ceremony. I was the third one booked, done. I made the ceremony happen, you know? That's the shit that you can't make up. So we got to let God do the work, you guys. It is magical. This connection is magical. You have to allow spirit in. The coyote for the feminine. Look, this is beautiful. Coyote and wolf trust. Look at this look at this the coyote the west this is north and east water energy this is earth energy coyote west feminine earth energy what does water and earth when they come together steam it's fiery god it's a fiery fiery god like energy it is passion purification coyote this is a nine this is also coming into independence feminine okay it's like the nine of pentacles being in your true self holding that down okay so look up those two animals here which is beautiful because this is wolf and coyote energy very similar same family okay take a look at those energies take a look at those totems um research them and work with sweet grass all right guys that is your reading for the eclipse there's no extension for this one because i'm too booked with readings today but i'm sending you so much love don't forget to please like this video it really helps me grow my channel and please subscribe take a look down below please keep the comments clean um we are here to help each other okay we're not here to judge people we're here to help people okay and i love you guys and i'm sending you love um and yeah check out check all the information down below don't forget my special that I'm running for 2021 and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.